series of lessons we've called supported practice and supported practice is where the teacher is still strongly there at the beginning of the lesson but as the lesson sequences continue the teacher steps back if the students are able to work a little bit more on their own. So we've called these working with a partner. Now with the hard copy we've provided 12 examples of text here and on the back of each piece of text that the students would use for supported practice is the key vocabulary and the visual images as we've had in lesson plan one. If we're using the digital version, we go to the um, overall page here and we go to lesson plan two, supported practice, working with a partner, and that's where we will find everything. The lesson plans here ask you or ask to start off by revisiting the strategy. So we ask the students what they remembered about the strategy, we revisit what the definition of the strategy and we revisit the learning goals, just to make sure that the strategy is clear in their minds before we start. Then we provide a prior knowledge activity. We go on to also provide a vocabulary activity and then the students go into reading the text they are gradually encouraged with the teacher taking away from the reading to the students reading on their own to become more independent as they read the supported practice part of the lesson. We have a discuss and reflect session just like we had in our first lesson. The students go then back to the self-assessment sheet. They write down how they think they're going in their second attempt, so in the supported practice column and we provide a vocabulary activity focusing on the vocab that the students needed to um, become clearer on in terms of their understanding of what the words mean. All of that is identified in, in, for you to follow on the lesson plans if you're using the hard copy. There are two parts here, or as we say on the digital. So if we click on to lesson plan two, you will see that each of the components you're going to use are here. So as you make your way through, you'll go first to activate prior knowledge. There is a prior knowledge activity. Then you'll click down on the arrow or across the top and there is a discussion part. Now we do have a strengthened discussion part here encouraging students to work with their partners. If we click on to the next part, we have our vocabulary. Let's just go on to one of them. Let's go on to the rotary dial just to see the example that's there. All right, so again, a visual plus an example. Back to the vocabulary list. Click further on and we're reading the text. So the text starts, listen as I read to find out. That's the higher teacher component. But as we click through the text, you will see that the students become more involved in reading their own text. The graphic organiser is embedded, so as they've read each part, they're filling the graphic organiser in with the teacher and with their partners. We continue our way through the text, and you'll see here, read this section to find out. And that's the stage where, if you're comfortable that your students are able to go on their own, you get them to read themselves rather than you reading to them. Right, we'll go all the way through the text. Continuing to fill in the graphic organiser as we go through. One more time through. Filling in the graphic organiser. And last piece of text before we go into the final recording and our discuss and reflect. Our discuss and reflect again is always first and foremost about the content they've read. Secondly, it's about the key concept and then it requires them to go back and think about the strategy. If we press on the next button here, it takes us into the self-assessment, working with a partner, same learning goals from lesson one, same learning goals that we've got at the beginning here, and then to the vocabulary activity. And this one here, you'll see as context clues. So they put in the word, they come up with a synonym for the word, they find the matching definition, and then they give an example of the word. If they're not sure, the teacher is able to direct them to an example here to discuss.